Hello everyone, it's me Ricky, and today it is finally time to do another add-on showcase. And you may notice I'm in the deep dark because this is where I decided to do <laughs> this is where I decided to um you know um do the add-on showcase at. <laughs> As you can see the warden's teeth are currently gone because I had to put the chest in there. And uh, yep. This this is the add-on. Uh, oh my god! Um, and basically, what's going on here is that, yeah, you know that one video I uploaded like a couple of months ago. You know, um, Ricky's time. Yeah, that. Yeah, that. Well, I remade it with some new mobs, and this time, I ask a add. And this time, I changed the name from Ricky's time to the crazed world to the crazed craft add-on. My bad, not crazed world. Not crazed world. Anyways, um, yeah, this, <laughs> oh god, yeah, I really made that on it. Also, if you can tell at the top right corner, I got myself some add-ons, some bosses to fight these mobs. We got the exterminator prototype, um, wait, credit to microwave, we got Leshy, Ogre, and Minotaur, the credit to the people, credit to the person or people who made the mythical add-on, the mythological add-on, I think that's the name. <laughs> Alright, let's do this already. So, for the first chest. Yeah, it's now gonna tell you guys that this time I also used, that I also, um, remade all of the bosses from, like, like the first update, like, the Snow Beast, or, like, the first showcase I did this. So, yeah, we have the Snow Beast, and... <laughs> You might notice it's something a little bit different than Snow Beast, you know? Like, I don't think the Snow Beast used to have, well, well, Snow Beast used, did used to have, well, like, ice on his. Like, the Snow Beast used to have ice on, well, not much, basically. But I'm pretty sure you guys don't remember him having, well, that mouth and, uh, a heart. <laughs> or a face on his, on the top of his head. <laughs> yeah, that's basically the Snow Beast right now. Ooh, I don't know how to fight this thing because he honestly hits pretty hard and so let me just grab out the exterminator prototype, prototype. I used the iron golem models model for the slow but for the slow beast so it's honestly fair if I use the exterminator prototype also if you kill him he drops the heart of Everest which you can use to craft the Everest chest plate which is better than ne ne better than ne well not better than never right. It has more like durability than never right. In fact, I'm wearing it right now. Um, right, let's just put that on. And I believe, and you can also craft the icy axe because he has to drop because because he, he drops ice when he dies. <laughs> I'm sorry if I stutter so much. It's just because well, well, um, yeah, I'm not <laughs> I'm not built I'm not, I'm not I'm not built like my like um <laughs> like my peers basically. <laughs> After some minor tricks to the world, I have now gotten the mob battle sticks, so that way we continue this. And yep, take two. Let's try this again. We just do blue team and red team, and they should fight. Oh, what the? A laser? Right, let's get it. So here's the thing about the snobies. He he gives you he gives you slowness along with. <laughs> Uh, he he gives you slowness. He doesn't really do much right now. I'm planning to I'm planning in the future to make it so he can summon minions stuff like that. Also, why is he? Why are you? Why are you not fighting, sir? Sir. Anyways, now we move on. We're just gonna put the snow beast back in his little cage where he belongs. And next up is the exile illager, and this time. You'll notice that he's not actually, well, a boss. <laughs> yeah, I decided instead of making him like a boss like all the others, um, instead I made him, well, not really a mini boss, instead, um, well, what can you really call him? Come, like, come on. Uh, instead, like, like, um, an exile, basically, <laughs> like, like, he'd been removed from society and, well, well, he's on your side, because, well, he's been removed from society, so he doesn't have to act like an actual pillager anymore. <laughs> and, well, he's just out to kill other pillagers, and if you kill him, and in fact, I'm going to kill him right now. Bink. 
Unk. He he drops his knife and some emeralds, which I think are I think I think it's pretty fair, right? Anyways, next boss. Oh uh, well, not boss, cause yeah, y'all remember the flying thing, right? The mob that I made that doesn't seem to like attack things. Yeah, I yeah I made them, I made them, and I think now he wants to attack stuff. Except this time, I didn't make it so he has a melee attack. Instead, I made it so that way he now has a range attack, and he's kind of hard to be hit. So, but I'm gonna I'm gonna spawn in Lushy. Careful, you uh, you are entering dangerous areas. The the spirit of the forest does not like invaders. <laughs> um, yeah, meet Leshy, the wind, um, I, I, I want to call him a windigo, but is he really a windigo? Like, come on, man. Anyways, I'm just going to do that. And, spawn him in. Okay, let's go. <laughs> also, you might notice that Flying Fang is also not a boss. He's instead also, like, a mini boss that can fly around and stuff. This is really annoying. He shoots acid at you. <laughs> I just realized that all the add the some of the add-ons that I make for some reason always have acid in them. I don't get why. And yeah, he also and also the, it's not good to tell you guys that the the, um, the acid is actually um fatal poison. <laughs> so unlike regular poison, you could die to this acid, which is not good. Also, Leshy, yeah, Leshy's gonna take like ten years to die, by the way. So I might as well show you off um show off the um items. Well, I can. So, as you can see, we have acid spit. He, um, flying thing won't actually drop this, by the way. He'll only just will spit it. So yeah, you can't really just use it to your advantage. What he does drop, however, is where is it? Um, this. Uh, yeah, he does drop fangs and acid, which you can craft into chain fang and um a. A, po a potion, a, a, a potion of fatal poison, which I, which is pretty fatal. Not gonna lie. Also, flying things is probably gonna shoot Lushy for like ten hours. Lushy can't even, Lushy can't even like hit him. Flying thing also has like fifty HP, and yeah, that. And I also made a custom bat model, of course. Like, look at that thing. That's beautiful. <laughs> However, I have to get yeah, 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 yeah. Become so far apart that I was surprised he could. I was the flying thing can even like like even snipe the boy. <laughs> Poor Lushy, <laughs> having such a terrible day. Now the next chest, the crying obsidian. This is I believe our fist. But no 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 not our fist boss. Yeah, the crying obsidian is our second boss. He basically okay so, so basically he has two he has, he has two different um versions of himself. He has the obsidian minion minion and the crying. In the boss version, of course. Here's what the crying obsidian looks like. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's nightmare fuel. I just say that it's probably like my best bottle in a while, cause I have been making add-ons all that much recently, and most of the add-ons that I do make don't really get out because oh, I'm lazy. <laughs> but <laughs> excuse me. Um, as you can see, um, he has a my a mouth for munching and a core. For crafting, or is it, um, not that, this, the obsidian, well, well, you can't really craft it, oh yeah, and here are the minions, by the way, they're just, like, like, it's just copy and paste, but it's, it's only, like, his head, and yeah, the, the obsidian core, it, it gives you resistance free and strength free, let me know if I should nerf it, because I feel like I totally should, but yet again, like, like, <laughs> let's be honest here, you're, you guys are crazy, let's be honest here, um, now with all things to do, uh, let's just make him fight an ogre. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot that he spawns four of these like every like one minute or so. I believe. I don't know. All right. Let's just have you two fight. You and you fight. All right. Oh wait, hold on. I have to actually um in bunk. Bink. <laughs> I'm just gonna make every single obsidian fight. There we go. Also, if you haven't noticed already, his name is actually inspired. By the um, the the <laughs> the obsidian the um, the mu oh I'm hmm? the upset the obsidian um no I'm pretty sure they did I think so and as yeah as you can see um the crying obsidian is down and the ogre is just beating up literally everyone else. All right, I'm back. Um, after two, after a couple hours. Um, yeah, sorry, I had to do some stuff. I ate some breakfast, of course. 
But yeah, we have to continue with this thing. Anyways, yeah, the obsidian. Eh, if you fight him in survival, I, I, I wouldn't say he's easy. I would say he's kind of hard. Like, he did like the middle somewhere. Anyways, now we're moving on to the next mob, Dr. Boom. Oh, Dr. Boom. Now, hold up. I need to grab two. I need to grab some emeralds real quick. So, hold up. Yeah, Dr. Boom, you can trade with him, by the way. So, that's why I'm grabbing all these emeralds. You can basically trade with Dr. Boom, and he'll give you some eh, some very crushable stuff. So, I'm just gonna do it. Yeah, here's Dr. Boom. And. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, so his first trade for 20, for 20 animals, you get the Boombo. Wanna see what it does? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what the Boombo does. Just make sure not to spam it too much, because if you spam it, well, then... Uh, God, where, uh, where do I begin with that? <laughs> Anyways, yeah. And then, yeah, hold up, let me just... Dr. Boom, let me trade with you. I know you. I know you're tradable now. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. After that, you can trade with Dr. Boom again to get yourself the Creeper Shooter. I was originally gonna be named the Creeper Zooka, but I had to change it to Shooter because I will. I didn't really know what else to name it. Basically, this is this has a, this doesn't have the same problem as the Boombo, and it summons this it does summons creepers. That's pretty, that's pretty simple. Also, um, Dr. Boom does not like creepers. And oh yeah, also. He shoots fireballs, so let me just um, summon a couple creep. Uh oh. <laughs> um. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, anyways, yeah, yeah. as you can see, he shoots fireballs. Bank. Yeah, see? And. Uh oh. Anyways, yeah, let's just spawn in the next one. Uh. Hold up. I'm gonna review. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just level up already. Level up. Yep. Alright, and you. And again. Right. Oh. Yeah, and now for his last trade, you give him 12 gunpowder and he'll give you 11 TNT. <laughs> I know that the, I know that the trade kind of downgraded a bit, but listen, what else can you really do, man? <laughs> Next up is the Necromancer. Yes, another another fellow comrade that we used to know. Now this guy, we have the Necromancy book where of course he it summons like necromancy zombies and yeah that's still the bug where they fight each other. Yeah, I don't really know how to fix that. <laughs> and but now we also have the Necromancer um yeah, yeah, we have the Necromancer himself and I think I nerfed him a little bit by accident. Um and by accident is it, yeah, I think I nerfed him a little bit by accident. <laughs> yeah, he still blinds you when he hits you, but other than that, yeah, that, that's not really, yeah, but other than that, <laughs> yeah, not really much. Now we move on to another dear friend of ours, the Creeper Stack. And I'm not sure if any of y'all know this. Um, if I were to just grab some of this, some of that, yeah, just replace that. Ah, yeah, yeah, uh, guys, get, 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 get ready to, um, Get ready to be awed in amazement. Now, some of my friends already know this, so they're not gonna will be. <laughs> they're not gonna be traumatized for life after this. <laughs> uh, just. Oh my god. Alright. And three, two, one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I'm asking yourself, okay, to death. Um, I did not fix this boo. Um, um, oh no, oh god, oh no, oh god, um, um, whoops, <laughs> I think that, yeah, I think that's enough, okay, okay, never mind, uh, yeah, as you can see, this is the creeper stack, everyone, oh my god, here's the creeper stack, as you can see, they also drop gunpowder, which you can use to trade with Dr. Boom, Oh my god, you know, I, I, I'm just gonna get into survival and fight these things, so that way, well, you guys, you guys don't have to, like, I created a morbid abomination, like, what is this, man? Now, hello! Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, Oh my god, he's suffocating! Oh no, 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 I don't want to use the boom boom. I'm a boom. <laughs> Where, 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 where? I do not have a weapon. I do not have a weapon to defend myself. Uh oh. Um. We. Oh no. 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 We fool. Oh god. Oh god. The lag. The lag. 
It's, uh, it's one of them getting ready to explode or something. No, 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 you ain't coming near me. Yes, Gina, let's do it already. Oh, no, on. Yeah, now you might be wondering why that creeper hit me in the face. It's because, well, Adam Maker doesn't make it. So that Adam Maker makes it so that a creeper that mob, all mobs have to hit you in the face. <laughs> uh, well, some mobs have to hit you in the face, some don't. It just, it just, it just, it just, it just does not make sense. And now let's get on to the final few with the Withering Piglin. Where we have the Wither Ingot, Withering Axe, and, and, well, obviously the mob. Now, this is going to be another mob you have to worry about in the Never. Because, uh, yeah, there's another mob that I have to worry about in the Never due to the fact that, well, um, he isn't fooled by gold armor just like the regular pig, just like the regular brute. <laughs> like, he isn't fooled by golden armor just like the pickle, just like the regular pig and brute, so yeah, you don't have to worry about that. Also, I believe if you, if you get, I believe if you hit him, he'll, um, well, start rivering you, which is, <laughs> which is pretty bad, so hold up. I'm sorry, I had to eat real quick. And now, um, yeah. Anyways, yeah, this is the Wolverine Piglin. If you're wondering who will win in a fight, Wolverine Piglin or Piglin Boot, well, hold on. Um, yeah, the Piglin Brute doesn't ask me, despite with the, despite the fact that I used the mob battle sticks, the Piglin Brute does not want to fight the Rivering Piglin, but the Rivering Piglin would gladly fight the Piglin Brute. <laughs> so yeah, I get the Rivering Piglin to take the crown despite the fact that, well, um, the Piglin Brute <laughs> does not want to fight him. Also, you can't trade with the Rivering Piglin, I believe, so if I were to give him, like, um, gold, gold, it's gold. If I were to give him a fat stack of gold, yep, he does not trade anything. Yeah, he doesn't even do the animation. He's like, nah, nah, I'm good, fam. I'm good, fam. You can take your gold and you can shove it up here. All right, we have we have two new swords. We have the glass sword with and the glass claymore. The glass sword only lasts for like a couple of hits, I believe, and it isn't really and it does ten attack damage. Doesn't really be last for that long, and it doesn't have that much durability, of course, because it's glass. So I'm gonna summon a villager, right? Just summon. Just go to. Just go in into the. This and think. Yeah, look at that. I hit. I hit. The, I hit the villager once, and already his sword's looking like it's wanna die. Think, and it's dead. <laughs> and now if we go up to this and oh no that's the wrong one the glass claymore also it shows the recipe as you can see for the glass sword you just need the glass it's just like the like the regular you know just need like like two diamonds stacked on top of like <laughs> just like two glass st stacked on top of a sword uh, of a stick and all of a sudden you have like like a, a weapon that can just kill villagers in an instant <laughs> but of course we also have the glass claymore now this one's a little bit different because it has more durability and has more attack damage, as you can see. That's for one, two, three, and four hits. There we go. That's like that's like that's like eighty. That's like eighty attack damage. Not even eighty. Um, that's like one hundred attack damage right there. And one way about this chest. Wrong chest. Oh no, wait. This is the right chest. Okay. <laughs> anyways, yeah. After that. Anyways, guys. Oh my gosh. Anyways, guys. Oh my gosh. Like the video. <laughs> I honestly wanted to continue. I'm honestly sorry that um Rick that um the the, the episode two of of the, um, the Gotcha series hasn't came out yet. I just will I just will have been goofing around a little bit, <laughs> like you know like like I promise you it is coming. I promise you that. I promise you that it's just gonna need some time. I sooner. So I'm sorry about that, guys. And without further ado, I'll get to the video. Oh, and I'll see you guys next time. Hold up. Oh no. Okay, come on. Up. Uh, uh oh. oh no. Oh god. Oh, 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 oh god. Oh, oh, oh god.